In this video, we're going to look at Send an Archive in Spark. With Send an Archive, what we're able to do is when we reply to an email, is not only send that email, but we can also archive it at the same time. So it takes these two steps that we would normally do. We reply to an email and then we archive it. It takes those two steps and puts it into one. Send an archive. Now this feature is only available in Spark on the Mac. You will not find this feature on the iPad or iPhone. Let's take a look at Send an Archive on my Mac. So I'm in Spark here, and let's say I reply to an email. Let's go ahead and select this email, and I'm going to reply to it. I just go to Command R, and I'm replying to it. Now with most email clients, including Apple's Mail, when I click on Send here, what it's going to do is keep that mail in my inbox. So let's go ahead and click on Send here. We can see that it kept it in my mailbox. Now what I need to do is I need to archive it. So I go over to my archive here and I archive it. Well, with Spark, what we're able to do is take those two steps and place it into a single step or make it with a single step. How do we do that? Well, let's go and reply to this email. And instead of send here, you're going to see that we have a little carrot over to the right of this button. Instead of send, what I do is I select send an archive. When I do this, now when I send this email, Instead of sending it and then I have to go and archive it manually, what it'll do is it'll archive it on its own. So it's going to send the email or reply it to it and then it'll put it into the archive folder. So I just click on send an archive and now that email is no longer in my inbox. It is in my archived folder here. So I was able to do that with one button. Now, if you want to switch it back, it does remember what you've clicked on there or what you've selected. So let's go ahead and select another one. And when I go and reply to it, you're going to see that it says send an archive. If you want to send this and then maybe move it to a folder instead of archiving it, what you'll have to do is go over to the carrot here and then click on send. And now when I send this, what I'm able to do is then move it to a separate folder after it's sent. So that is Send an Archive in Spark Mail. With Send an Archive, what we're able to do is reply to an email, send that email, and then also archive the original email with just one click. And again, this feature is only available in Spark on the Mac. It is not available on the iPad or iPhone. So that is Send an Archive in Spark for the Mac. Now, if you like what you saw here, what you may want to do is like the video. Give it a thumbs up. That will tell YouTube that you like it. And maybe what I can do then is help other people because they'll recommend my video to other people. You can also subscribe to my channel. If you want to learn more about my videos, I do have over 1,600 videos available, easy to follow videos on the Mac, iPad, iPhone, Apple Watch, and Apple TV. You can find those on danstutorials.com. In addition to having over 1,600 videos, you can also keep track of which lessons you've taken, you can take notes, you can favorite tutorials. So if you'd like to learn more, take a look at my danstutorials.com. I hope this video was helpful in helping you learn more about your Apple device.